So, you're thinking of buying a house. Getting a foot on the property ladder is super exciting, but it can be pretty expensive too. If you're wondering how much it really costs to buy a house, not just the asking price, but the ongoing costs once you're a proud homeowner, let's break it down and talk about how you can get your finances ready for buying a house. Before doing anything else, you'll need to do your research. And lots of it. Buying in Germany is a different process to buying in Italy. Every country has its own approach, so research your local market. Are you expected to bid well above the listing price? What percentage will you need to put down as a deposit? All of this info is readily available on the internet. So take the time to understand how the market works. You also need to think about your credit score if you're going to be applying for a mortgage. So paying your bills and taxes on time to avoid a low credit score is imperative. You can check yours online. If you need to save for the deposit, make a monthly budget and start putting money aside. If you're really committed to getting on the ladder, saving for a year and foregoing luxuries like holidays and new tech could be a great way to reach your deposit savings goal. Also worth considering, try avoid talking to a mortgage advisor or your bank just after switching jobs. They value stability. Make sure to set a realistic budget, deposit and mortgage amount and stick to it when searching for your new home. Many countries have a minimum deposit value. If this was 15%, you need to find a 30k deposit on a house that costs 200,000 euros. Some countries, like the Netherlands, allow you to take a mortgage for the entire sum of the house and you pay only the agency fees yourself. Which brings us neatly to the other upfront costs you'll need to consider. Namely, estate agency fees and legal fees. These can be extensive, but are sometimes kept out at a percentage of the sale price. Make sure you find out upfront what the costs will be. Nobody wants the nasty surprise later on. At some point down the line, the house will be in your name and the keys in your hand. But don't think that's the end of your financial investment in your new home. In general, it's a great rule of thumb to set aside 1% of your house's value each year for general maintenance. That's everything from calling a plumber to repainting the garden fence, the small, unexpected costs you need to plan for. So, if you bought your house for 300,000 euros, try to put aside 3,000 per year or 250 per month. It may seem unnecessary, but when something pops up, you'll be thankful to have a pot of money to cover it. What else? Ah, let's not forget about the taxes. These vary from one country to the next, but are often up to 1% of your home's value. Speak to a financial expert when buying your home to calculate these costs in advance. If you're in a position to buy your own home, and get a foot on the property ladder, these additional costs are nothing to be alarmed by. Everybody has to face them. Just commit to doing your research thoroughly, budgeting properly in advance and doing things by the book. As long as you're pragmatic about how much it really costs to buy a house, you won't be caught out. Still have questions about money management? Or just on the lookout for smart banking tips? Subscribe to our YouTube channel or head to n26.com.